Hi, my name is Shandrisa Fields, and I'm extremely nervous right now. This is not <laughs> my forte videos and things like that. But I want to say thank you to all of you who have donated and those of you who will donate. Um, I'm very nervous. But I just wanted to say thank you and also to give some, some information about um, the condition that I'm battling with. It's called myasthenia gravis and I am seronegative, which means that I test negative for many of the antibodies that typically um, are tested positive for, but there are quite a few people that have seronegative um, general myasthenia gravis. <clears throat> we have the same symptoms most of the time, um, but everybody is a little bit different. For me, I'm, because I'm so nervous, I'm, I'm, I'm praying that I can finish this video okay. But um, this condition has been something I've been dealing with since I was a little girl, as I look back, um, just over over time. It's just been getting progressively worse as um, time goes on. Um, things like um, chewing certain foods. I know growing up, um, certain che very chewy foods I had difficulty with. Um, if it was very crunchy, it would make my temples swell. Or if it was super chewy, then it would kind of sometimes it wouldn't go down or I would gag or different things like that. But uh, we just assumed I wasn't chewing my food well enough or that, you know, that it was just me not taking my time. Um, as I got older, it would kind of be still the same thing. In high school, it was similar. Um, my biggest time that I would have issues as a teen was um, during my monthly. Um, during that time, I would have a very difficult time. We just assumed it was just the pain of that. Now we understand a little bit uh, more about it, but during that time, I would have difficulty walking. My legs would just feel so heavy to the point that they would hurt. Sometimes I can remember having to sit in the hallway at school in between classes because my legs just were in so much pain um, during that time. And um, as I talked to my neurologist and everything now, he was just, he reassured me, just let me know that those are some of the things that um, kind of were pointing toward that. It's been a long journey um, of back and forth, treating this symptom, this symptom at different places, never really knowing what's, what's wrong. I'd say that things started to progress a little bit more about, maybe about eight or nine years ago. Um, just back, my back would hurt so bad and nothing would relieve it most of the time but just rest. Um, we even um, invested in another, a new bed just to try to help and it, it will help sometimes and sometimes not. And it was like, am I sleeping wrong? What's wrong? But we just didn't know. I was having um, problems with my nerves um, during that time. Just my hands would just kind of jitter or I would drop something. I would think I'm holding it well and it just falls, just different things like that. So. But we just kind of continued on and was like, well, okay, that was that little time and we'll move on. Um, we moved to our new house about almost five years ago and I was doing pretty good. Um, some ups and downs, but was able to still do a lot of things that I usually do. And um, I don't know if I overdid it. Well, I'm sure I did. I overdid it <laughs> during those times of trying to get the house together. But after that, it just started to become more progressive. Um, just little things like brushing my teeth. Um, I would have to support my arm, like put my arm like this and kind of brush my teeth like this because it would hurt. And so I, um, I got to where I couldn't do my hair. So that's the short haircut. So 
I just said, well, okay, I'll just cut it short. That way I spend less time trying to twist it up and everything. And I got an electric toothbrush and I still have to prop my arm up to kind of hold it there sometimes in the morning. Sometimes mornings are, mornings and afternoons sometimes are, are my, the worst times um, for me. But um, <clears throat> it's just little things like that. And so I started dropping more things and becoming more imbalanced where I would almost fall or my, my family have to catch me or if we're here during homeschool, we're at lunch or doing things, um, my sons would catch me or I have to hold on to them to kind of keep from falling. Um, I'd be trying to stir and cook and my arms would give out and it'd be like, what's wrong? So we just, we were like, something is wrong. And so I was going up steps and, and I would just kind of not feel my best. And so he was like, so when you're going up steps and you're doing different things, um, he said, that sounds like myasthenia gravis. And I was like, oh, what? It was like myasthenia gravis. He said, how do you feel? Do you feel weak? I said, not really. I just hurt. And he was like, I think you have myasthenia gravis. He says, let's let's look at this and let's get some medications and different things to see how this works and so for me because i'm a doer i like to do things i like to help others and do things myself I'm, i like to be as independent as possible um so for me i push myself too hard so i don't recognize when my muscles are weak all i know is that they hurt and so he said for me it presents as pain because i've done too much and so that's when we started kind of looking into different um, things there. And surely after he put me on some different kinds of um, types of medication for nerve pain and for, um, he put me on a acetylcholine um, inhibitor. It helps to, um, to get the message from my nerves to my muscles. And that helped a lot um, because let's see, two years ago in February, I was just kind of walking around the yard and I was just trying to exercise. I was like, I need to do more. Um, I got up to about seven minutes and I, I couldn't walk out beyond outside on the ground, just kind of like holding my legs because they would be hurting so badly. And um, so I said, okay, well, I can't do this. Let me do inside. I would exercise. I would do a little inside fitness thing and my whole body would just start itching from head to toe and I was like what is wrong what is wrong and after I started taking that medication it helped a lot I was able to walk a little bit more I couldn't do what I used to do but it did help a lot and so we started looking into that and sure enough that's what what things have come um, come to myasthenia gravis it has affected my eyes my, my, my throat, <laughs> my, my peripherals, it even sometimes affects the rhythm of my heart. And so I have some arrhythmia there that I'm taking some medications for. Um, it's just been a lot. A lot of times, if you look at me, you can't really tell because oftentimes I don't really say anything or I'll just kind of push through. Uh, but most of the time when I'm at home, my family sees the most, you know, um, of course, because they're here with me. And sometimes even them, I, they say, you're OK, mom. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm, I'm OK. You know, trying to be mom. But sometimes they would say, "Uh, uh you need to take take a break, take a rest, and sit down. And so I would. And so my family has been very helpful to me if I'm needing help um, picking up something or just, I guess, just even needing stability, just standing. Um, they have been there to help me and I really appreciate that but yeah they've been very helpful for me even sometimes reminding me um I like to talk I like to play and laugh and be silly <laughs> that's just a part of my personality and so um I've learned and I'm still learning I can't eat and talk and eat and laugh because sometimes um, if I'm eating and I'm chewing some things, something as simple as chewing and then looking like this, I'll just choke. I'll choke. My food will get stuck 
and I'll spend the next little bit trying to clear that out and um, so they'll say mom don't talk don't talk right now or just go ahead and eat tell us later you know um, this you know eating and talking is what we usually do but I have to be mindful and sometimes it takes me twice as long as everyone else to eat because I have to chew and make sure that I concentrate on getting my food down um, so oftentimes um, I don't always know when my throat is tired um, or when my muscles are, are tired so sometimes food will just collect about right here and I don't know unless I turn my head and I can feel that lump there or if I'm taking my medicine it'll just kind of float right here any herbs and things and I'll have to kind of eat something to kind of push it down or I have to just give it some time and swallow several times um, afterwards so it's just like little things so certain foods I don't eat if it's very crumbly um, this if I if I take a breath in while I'm chewing, sometimes it'll go up my nose or if my muscles are really tired, I've had some times where I'm eating and I swallow and all of my food goes into my nose. And that is so frustrating to try to clear out. Um, just It's just been different things as I think, I, I feel like I'm rambling, but my brain is all over the place with everything that's been going on <clears throat> some years back um, I can remember singing at church because I would teach Sabbath school and um, I would sing I love to sing I can't really sing like I want to <laughs> but um, one day in heaven I will be able to <laughs> but um, I would get tired and my throat my voice would just kind of give out and um, I was like well oh I'm not using my normal singing voice and so I would look on YouTube and try to find videos on how to use your your um, proper singing voice or your normal speaking tone. I didn't realize at the time that it was just my muscles being tired, but um, now I, I know that. So I can sing maybe a couple songs and that's probably about it. And oftentimes just talking, I love to smile. I just love to smile because I, I like to see other people smile. <laughs> And so Kaden is smiling at me from behind the camera. And so I just like to smile, but even that hurts. Sometimes if I'm talking in conversation or from a church or I'm out somewhere and I'm smiling and talking, by the time I get to the car, my whole face is hurting. All of my, my cheeks and everything just hurt so, so bad. Um, it's kind of frustrating. Even yesterday when I found out about the GoFundMe, I was floored. I had no idea. And it's hard for me to receive help sometimes because I would rather help other people than people help me. And so I was so emotional that I started coughing. I couldn't stop coughing. I was just coughing, coughing because my, my throat muscles were tired and tight. So I had to go take some medicine and it did calm down. But all of the excitement of yesterday, really, I felt it this morning when I got up. And so it took me a while to get out of the bed. Um, I haven't done a whole lot today because my legs are very heavy. But it's just it's just been little things like that. Just a learning curve. Um, the I'm trying to think uh, medication has really helped a lot with if I don't take the medicine to help my muscles, I can really tell. Um, so it helps me get through the day. I just have to remember to take it. And um, I started receiving plasma treatments in August of this year. And they have been so helpful. Of course, right afterwards, I'm very tired because they have to, oh, this, I try to keep it covered. That's the um, catheter that's there. Hopefully you won't have to have it very long. <clears throat> They're hoping to get insurance to approve for me to take a VivGuard or um, IVIG, one of those. Because I'm seronegative, the insurance gives a little bit more hard time for um, approving certain medications. And so um, we're prayerful that the after we finish with the plasmapheresis, that we'll be able to kind of um, go into an IVIG or VivGuard or some other type of medication that's not as invasive and risky as this because I have to be careful because 
this catheter is going into my heart and any infection that touches it or gets on it, it can make me sick. So I have to be very careful, very careful with that. But this has been such a godsend. I am so thankful for my nurses and those who are helping me because I just think about if my dad had a chance to have plasma or have access to the medications that I had or my uncle or my grandfather, um, how their lives may have been different. It gives me more normal days. Um, I still have to be careful, but it gives me more, more, more time to have, to do more things outside, you know, to look at the garden or, you know, or to be out and about and different things like that, which I really, really appreciate. Um, trying to see, um, my eyes. I've always, I think I started wearing glasses when I was in second grade and, um, it's just been that for the longest and my eyes got so bad to where, um, the doctor said, well, maybe we can do some LASIK because your eyes are getting progressively worse within a matter of, of a few months. I need more, more glasses after three months or so. And so we had the LASIK done and I could see so much better, but I was still having some troubles. And um, I think I was able to do pretty good up until about eight years after um, my LASIK surgery. It, I started noticing I wasn't able to see as I used to. I would try reading glasses and they wouldn't work. I tried magnifying lenses and different lighting and all of that. Even um, it just got to where I couldn't read my Bible. I couldn't read books. Only way I could read is if I used a tablet and I was able to do a dark background in the letters and dim the lighting all the way as much as I could. And I could read that way. Um, even my phone is the same way. So if <laughs> my family is trying to look at my phone, they're like, why is it so dark? We can't see anything. It's because the light bothers my eyes really badly. Um, I have new glasses now, and I've just had to go get the lens changed. Um, just to f I've only had them since September, and so my eyes have already shifted again. So I still have to be mindful of the lighting and um, sizing and different things like that. So prayerfully, the new lenses will be better. They should be here at the beginning of the year. Um, so it'll be an adjustment, but I'm very thankful for just the different things. So um, technology is a wonderful thing. It has helped me to continue to read my Bible like I want to, because I can make the font as large or I can make the screen as light or dark as I need to. Can't really do that with a physical book. Um, but sometimes I wear shades inside, depending on how the lights are um, bothering my eyes, or sometimes I just have to rest them. And so it's just been a journey. It's been a journey that has affected every part of my life. Um, even like my, maybe TMI, <laughs> but even like um, just having um, um, bowel movements or different things like that. Sometimes after plasma phoresis, my muscles are so tired that I can't go. My muscles are just too tired to move. And so it's just different, different things like that. Um, so what has helped me the most is prayer. Prayer has been a godsend, it has been my friend. He has been my friend. And so those moments where I feel like I can't make it through, I pray and I ask for strength and God grants me that. He helps me to get from point A to point B to point C and back home. <laughs> and then after I'm home, it's like, okay, I've got to go to bed. Okay, or I need to lay down. I need to take a break or I can't cook tonight, guys. You know, you guys, can you find something to eat? Um, it has just been very helpful. So it's just different things. Sometimes getting up into the car, lifting my leg high enough to get in there, or I may trip when I'm walking because um, I'm not picking my feet up high enough. So I don't realize that my feet are dragging. Um, we went hiking a couple weeks ago. I think it's been a couple weeks ago. And I didn't take my muscle medicine in time. And we went, um, we were just hiking, walking on the trail. It wasn't high at the, at the time, but I'd say I walked about 300 feet maybe. And I said, oh, I don't feel so well. 
walked about 20 more feet and I was like, hmm, maybe I should take some some more of my uh, medicine for my, for my muscles. So we stopped and I took the medicine and we continued. And about, mm, I said maybe, maybe 100 more feet and I had to stop. And I was like, I'm not feeling well. My legs feel like jelly. I said, let me just stand here and rest a minute. I just stood there and rested a minute, and before I knew it, I was on the ground. I had fallen, and it was, it happened so quick. Kaden wasn't able to help to catch me, but you know, I just went down. My muscles were just so tired, um, but I didn't realize it. But thankfully, I had went ahead and taken my my medication, and I was able to finish walking. I was able to walk as fast as everybody else. Uh, but I was able to finish with the help of that medication. And so it's just the simple things in life sometimes that we take for granted and things that I'm learning to cherish more. And I'm learning to ask for help. And I'm learning to, um, to allow people to help me and not feel so bad. I feel like I should be the one giving help and not receiving help. Um, so I'm very thankful for um, everyone that has helped me, that has even given me encouragement because I've tried some nat- natural remedies and different things. And a lot of times I'm in denial. And it's like, this is not what I have. I don't have that, you know. And so, but I'm quickly reminded that, yeah, this is a very real thing. And um, it's not something to play with and so uh, we've been doing some different modifications here sorry my throat's hurt me from talking we've been doing some different modifications here at home um just to kind of make things a little bit more easier um uh, for me um so that i don't fall or i have things to kind of hold on to when i'm having those um bad days or um with the shower head and you know shower chair and different things <sighs> that I don't feel like I should need. I'm only 40. Try not to cry. It's just hard sometimes. Um, But God has been so good. He's been so faithful, so faithful. We help with Pathfinders, and I'm able to teach some classes and things. And granted, in between, I have to go and break. I have to go lay down, take a break, or after a couple classes. That evening, I may be just done for the day. I may be to where, um, I'm sorry, where at the end of, towards, and where after dinner, it's like, okay, you guys, you won't see me anymore till tomorrow. I need to go rest. So it's just different things like that. Just modifying the day. Um, everyone that has my senior gravis, they all have different things that um, that triggers or that you know different symptoms um, and what it affects. But it's a learning process. It's a it's a journey, and so. All I can say is thank you. I wish I could repay each of you for what you've done and what you are doing for me. But my way of repaying would be to pray for you and to just pray that God will bless you quadruple fold for anything that you've done um, to help me and to help my family. We appreciate it and it means a lot to us. It does. Um, a whole lot a lot so um just thank you i'll try to update you guys as much as i can as things change be in prayer with me that um the insurance will approve um uh a medication for me maybe the ivig or the um vivigard so that i don't have to have this thing in my chest because i can't sweat as much because it makes the um the bandage and stuff the dressing comes off and it can't 
and that's one one thing about this myasthenia my muscles overwork even if i'm just talking my whole body just sweats i will sweat and sweat and sweat and you would think that the heat is on or something but the more if i'm very nervous my clothes are drenched and so it just makes me very very sweaty um so i'm i'm praying that i can get this out of here and be able to get a different type of um uh, medication is i'm so grateful for the science and for the wisdom and knowledge that god has given to um different people to help us um along the way whether it's a device to hold my phone because i can't hold it or it's um different things that i have in my house that i can prop my ipad on so that i don't have to hold it or the magnets where i can just stick my phone to something and be able to move and then rest my arm and move it and so just the little things that mean so much i'm very very grateful so as time goes on i'll try to update you guys and share with you um, some of the things that i've been experiencing and if i find anything that can help someone else i definitely am willing to do that um i'm I'm, I'm up for questions Um, i'm not on facebook a lot um hardly ever but (laughs) but if you have questions i'll answer them i love to talk i love to share um so if if what i go through is of any benefit to anybody else then to me is well worth it it is well worth it so thank you guys again for everything